First thing you're gonna decide is whether you wanna buy fresh or frozen, okay? So if you want a fresh turkey, get it a little ahead. Get it that weekend before, take it home, leave it in the vacuum seal, bottom of your refrigerator till you're ready to use it, then open it, clean it, you're good right. to go. Okay, before now, it gets handled turkey. and all thrown around. The frozen turkey, now here's an opposite thing for you. First of all, don't run to go get your frozen turkey because every year when they start putting the frozen turkeys out, the first batch that goes out there are the ones that were left from last year from that last were sitting year. in the store. So don't run right away. Wait a little bit. Let it, let the couple days that of the first the surge go by. Truth. That's yeah. the absolute truth. It, that's what The happens. turkeys that go out first are literally from last year. Yep. And with frozen, it would be hard for you to tell that. Okay, so you don't want to do that right away, but then once you get your frozen turkey, okay, then you bring it home. And, and you're Ray, good to go. Go, go through how to defrost and how long it takes to defrost, because I think people get jammed up. They think they could take the turkey out of the freezer on Wednesday morning and Thursday morning be able to cook it. It would still be rock hard. Yes. When it comes to throwing your turkey, there's two ways to do it, okay? The one is in your refrigerator. The other, when you want a quick thaw, is if you do it in the refrigerator, it's going to be 24 hours for every five pounds. Okay, so you're going to need a lot of time to do that. Days and days. Okay. Yeah. If you put it in cold water, it'll be one hour for every two pounds. Okay, so it's a lot quicker. Change the water every couple hours, and you get your turkey thawed in no time. And how many pounds do you do? You do a pound per person, or a pound and a half per person? I for basically, leftovers? I, I basically, I go a pound per person, and then add six to seven pounds over that. Okay, so for your like leftovers. I said, so it's how many people? So if I'm having ten people. I'm looking for about a 17 pound, 18, which runs in two pound increments turkeys run. Right. So if you're looking for 17, you're gonna be looking at a 16 to 18 pound turkey. Right. Okay, which would be enough for that many people. What's next on your right. Well, next when you're looking for your turkey, again, they're all vacuum sealed, so you wanna make sure you get a, one with a good seal on it. Okay, so you want the vacuum to be nice and tight. As you can see, it's all tight around the legs. What you don't want is when you see that the bag is all loosening like this. This means that the, the vacuum seal the has seal, cracked. Right. Yeah. Air has gotten in, so now it's not going to hold up as long, which makes it tough for you because turkeys will come with a, like a month expiration. And because most of them you can't see inside, you wouldn't know that it's going bad until you actually opened it. So and that's then why you, you would make really sure know. You would know from the smell. The minute you open it, it the gets second, the yeah. So you want to make sure that it's not loose, it's nice and tight. You check around the seams, cross the back, make sure it's tight. You know you have a nicely sealed turkey, you'll be good. These are beauties, these here. Well, these here, Rachel, this is for because I'm a big believer in, I like to use the hens. Hens mm -hmm. are more flavorful and more tender than the toms, okay? The hen, though, only goes to about 20 pounds. That's about the range of a hen. So that's why I use like a 20 pound hen and I'll use a turkey breast. The toms- To supplement, To yeah. supplement. The toms will be like 30 pounds. That's that real big turkey. Now, how can you tell the difference? Well, if you look here, this large one, this is the tom. This is the hen, and you can see the breast is a little flatter, not as, not as, not as rounded, not as pulped, not as plumped up. Right. Okay? That's how the hen will be. The toms will never be that way. Again, they get bigger, they move around more, the muscles use a little differently, they don't get the same fill in the breast. So that's how you would know, even though you can't see it. Do you think that the breast meat on the toms is tougher than the hen meat? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Because right? it's more muscular. It's more muscular, they're older. So more doesn't mean tastier. No, no. Not, not at all. Again, it's an age thing. You know, it says the only way they get bigger is they get older and older. Yeah. So you want that big, the tom will only get that big, and you want it that 30, 35 pounds. It's got to be an older turkey to get right. that large. So again, Plus, it's used well, its muscles you, more. It's I mean, do you really want to lift a 40-pound a bird in and out of the oven? Like, who's going to do that? you got to go to the gym, like... You gotta train for months before you can lift the bird yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, Rachel, like what I like to do is I like to get a boneless turkey breast roast. Okay? Yep. This is how I make them. Yep. You either look for it with the skin or have your butcher take one. And a turkey breast comes in all different sizes, so you can get one whatever size you need. And you have I tie both tight places together, both pieces. So I end up with skin all the way around. Gives it a That's nice a protection. Full breast that you've tied the together. The full breast. Yep. Just like we do the pork roast. Right, right, right. Put them both together. When you cook it after it's tied, it kind of adheres together, slices, and but it, that skin keeps, and keeps it, it keeps juicy. And it keeps it so moist. That's a great tip. Take the whole boneless breast and tie it together. That's a really good one. And it it's exactly like the pork roast. Just like the pork roast.
And it comes He's out so delightful, nice. delightful, isn't he? <laughs> he is. <laughs> I mean, I think it's such a cute couple. I'm so thrilled I finally got to meet Dee Dee.